Alright troops, it's your man Chris Scully from TyrollHack.com with another first play video and today we're looking at Gear Club Unlimited or Gear Dot Club Unlimited on Nintendo Switch. Um, so I know a bit about Gear Club, I've never played it um, until recently it's been a mobile game, um, I mean it still is, <laughs> this is the Switch version. Um, apparently it was it's like a free to play mobile racing game, like a more kind of slightly serious racing game. Um, this unlimited version, I would imagine, takes microtransactions out, I would hope, because obviously it's not free to play. It costs human money uh, with human values. Um, so if it's still got microtransactions in it or timers, wait timers or stuff like that, it's going to be quite annoying. So hopefully, fingers crossed, those aren't still here and... Uh, the developers of Gear Club aren't pulling a fast one. Uh, but we shall see. I'm curious about it. By all accounts, the mobile version is very good. Um, although I've never played it myself. So we shall see um, if this Switch version... Uh, hopefully it's good because it'll be the first kind of serious... I say serious, like kind of non go karty type <laughs> racing game on the Switch. And the Switch is people like those types of games Switch doesn't have a Forza or a uh, Gran Turismo or a Drive Club but it's now got a Gear Club so hopefully that's a good enough um, alternative uh, we shall soon see now I am ready to race I should stress um, before we start I got a press release about this saying that there will be an update at launch and another one shortly after launch just fixing some bugs um, in case I encounter any and also adding a new camera angle because apparently there aren't a lot of camera angles and I don't know how to change the camera but okay so that's looking behind oh. okay so there's only two camera angles there's uh, very very close up and then this kind of dash cam so that makes sense. They, they press release said they're adding a, a third kind of chase cam, which um, I'm imagining will be further back than this one. Which makes sense, because it's, it's a wee bit too close for my liking, but... Ah oh well. Second place, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable, Shingles Cove. Hi Joe, although... Hello Joe! I, I would say that Joe, spelt J-O, is usually a female name, is it not? Oh, the dealer, eh? I, I would have imagined, I, I'm probably wrong. I was of the impression that if it's just J-O, it's a female name, and it's J-O-E, it's male. Um, but he seems like a nice enough guy, so I'm not going to call him up on it. Why would you want to skip this cinematic when it looks so lovely? Actually, yeah, let's skip it now. <laughs> I've been gone for ages. Right, car dealer, blah, 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 blah. Pick my first car, classic video game. I'm looking interact. Oh, lovely. Walnut seats, I believe they call it. <laughs> Pop the hood. That doesn't let me open the, the boot or the trunk, as they say in America. I mean, call me crazy, but when I'm picking a car, um, I want to know what storage space is in the trunk for when I go to Asda to buy my shopping, uh, or indeed for bodies uh, to be stored in there following a heist. So that's disappointing. Uh, anyway, what's the stats? Here's a wee top tip for you. <laughs> it's not really. Uh, anytime I play a racing game and the first thing you do is pick a car out of a couple of crap ones, I always go by the top speed and <laughs> nothing else. So this is 250 kilometres an hour. Oh, and so is that. Rub acceleration, 5.8 seconds. 5.3, I've found my brand. A Nissan, or Nissan, as they say in American adverts for it. Introducing the new Nissan. 
Right, Joe. Give the keys. Let's take this Nissan out for a ride. Well, you're at it. You get yourself down to the deed pole office and get that name changed. Get a wee E slapped on the end of your name. That, oh. <laughs> I was going to say that looks absolute rubbish, but I just realised it's the map. It's the world map instead of... I thought it was the race starting. <laughs> Okay, it's designed to be looked at from far away, so that's fine. Okay, map. it's quite a big map, but presumably because it was a free-to-play game, they kind of wanted to... It's like Candy Crush style, it's like just endless. Let's do it. Beach trip me up, Joe. Recommended PI 101, and I've got 120, so that's good. I don't know what PI is, is that... Performance indicator, maybe. I think they do that in other racing games as well, where the car's just given like a, a number that basically rates it based on speed, acceleration, handling, etc. So you can kind of get a rough idea as to how decent your car is in general. Right then. Out the way, cinematic. Move your arse, Julia. I'm overtaking you, mate. Well, I was trying to... Something feels slightly off about the handling. Oh, there's Maddie. Or is this the obvious joke? By which I meant Madeleine McCann, not like a woman driver's joke. There's something odd about... I wonder... Hold on. I bet there's assists and stuff on this. Yeah, probably like breaking assistance. I'll keep the anti-skid on because I'm not a maniac, but... Like that? How does that work? That's more like it. That's better. Good. Really short race. I hope, I'm hoping the races get longer later on and they're not really short because it was a mobile game. Alright Joe, but if this involves microtransactions or uh, timers where I've got to wait five minutes before my car's updated, you can chew on a chubby. Hello, Max. I bet Joe's real name was actually Max and Max's real name was actually Joe and just for uh, hijinks, they've decided to switch their names. Okay, that seems a bit... counterproductive. <laughs> this is obviously you had to drag this before in the mobile game, I would imagine, with your finger. Let's try and figure out what that mystery workshop is before, by the time we get to the end of this video. There's my missions. I mean, all the kind of free-to-play elements are, are clearly still here. You can tell right away that how, how this game was designed for kind of free-to-play stuff. They're kind of constantly teasing you, oh, there's stuff coming if you get a certain number of stars and here's some daily achievements that you can race towards to kind of um, unlock more currency and stuff like that. Oh, how did I get to that medal up the top? The top right corner, I don't know what that is. Trying every button. Oh, there we go. Collect. 
collect, collect. Well, there's a lot of them. Buy a Jaguar. And that's my date, my missions that would appear. Finish a race. That'll be coming. Cool. Fisher Village then. Okay, not bad. I mean, like I say, it's clear that, that this was a free-to-play game at first and there's a lot of... seems to be a bit of a hangover from, from the mobile version in terms of me kind of bitty stuff, but so far no timers, no... By the way, you want you might maybe want to give us some money to buy this quickly or anything like that. It doesn't look like there's any microtransactions yet. Looks nice enough. I mean, obviously it's a mobile game first, so don't expect Drive Club, but it looks okay. Nah, you're all right, mate. No living in the past. I say, right as I crash. Although, I haven't said that, if the, if the races aren't that long, and I hope they are, um, it seems if you crash you might not get a long time to kind of recover. See, there's a finish already. Yeah, that, that's the thing. You need to kind of do a decent run because if you crash once, you're stuffed. You can I redo that? Is that what Y is at the bottom? Is that retry? Yes, yeah, that was quick. It's one of my big bugbears in racing games nowadays, especially kind of... It makes sense in the more kind of compl complex ones that when you finish a race and you want to retry or, or when you're driving at any point and you want to restart the race, and when you pause and do restart, a lot of them load it again, so you have to sit and wait for the track to load every time you want to restart. Uh, presumably just because it's so detailed it has to kind of load it back into the, the memory again. But... That was really quick. I did retry and it just put me right in the finishing line, uh, start line right away, so that was good. Here we go, this is more like it. The steering, the steering doesn't feel very analogue. I wonder, I need to experiment a bit more with that, but... I didn't feel massively, like I was only moving it slightly and it was turning quite severely, so I wonder if it's designed with digital steering. Hmm. Curious. Gives my money. Unlock a zone. Let's do it. I don't mind this so far. It's not the greatest racing game ever made, clearly, but um, yeah, I don't mind. I'm not sure off the top of my head what the price is, but I suppose we'll find out. It's not out yet at the time of recording this. This is review code. Yeah, see, I'm only moving the stick a tiny wee bit. Well, there is analog steering, it's just quite sensitive, so you can't do very subtle left movements. It's like that's me barely turning it. Yeah. There is analog steering, it's just not as subtle as I'd like, but that's fine. Jesus. Can, can, you, can you turn the brightness up a wee bit, please? Ah. Okay, let's do this rewind and see how it looks. Oh, that's good. It's a nice quick rewind.
coming for you, Steve, you scum. It's good that a lot of the racers have female names, but given Joe, um, Emily's probably a guy as well. Balls this, I'm finishing second again. The longer race though this time, which is good. That's two laps, that's why. Uh, quick! Ah, the steering's are still a bit wild. Take a wee bit to get used to it. Ah, look at that, slick. <laughs> yes, last minute. Excellent. Boom, you better believe it. Going by that screenshot, presumably that this is also part of the game, is it? This is part of the free to play element, I would imagine. In the mobile version, is it, it looks like you're building your own, yeah, there we go, building your own garage as well. It's basically, theme hospital, but <laughs> with, with this instead. Okay, let's have a tyres workshop then. Here. Thanks. Did I get my mystery one yet? I've got one, three more stars to get. Did I not get my reward for unlocking a zone then? That's the new zone unlocked, okay. Good. And there's your multiplayer, okay. Right, not bad. Sunny Riviera, which is also my Mexican wrestler name. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, name is Sunny Riviera. Oh, night time. No, oh, okay. The old time attack. I've never been a big fan of time attack stuff. The frame rate isn't as smooth as I would have liked. But. Hey ho. Yeah, I really get used to this handling. There doesn't seem to be like a, like I say before, it's not, there's no kind of daintiness to it. <laughs> daintiness is a terrible word. Um, it's not as nuanced, that's the one, as I'd like. Um, see, that's rubbish. Let's try that again. Um, Actually, let's not. Let's do a different one. 
Yeah, it's not as um, it's tricky. It goes from either barely turning at all to wildly swinging round. Oh wait, did that unlock Wolves Valley as well? Oh no. Right, let's get my final star in Old Harbour. That should open up whatever this secret location is in the in the garage, and hopefully that is something that will blow my mind and yours. Uh, dear viewer and if it doesn't I will see you in court Gear Dot Club Unlimited oh now you tell me mate I knew let me bring the skid down a wee bit as well I know, Joe. Come on. Out the way. This is dangerous. It's a shame when you're doing this kind of outside view and you look behind you, it doesn't, doesn't show you your car. I know some, some games do that. Like the when you look behind, it's like the reverse view of whatever your current camera angle is. So if you've got the dash cam, then obviously when you look behind, you would see that. But in some games, when you've got this chase cam, when you look behind you, you see the front of the car, so you can see your wee driver turning. Although based on this, it's really hard to see, but it doesn't look like my driver's arms are actually moving. So they maybe deliberately not done that, so you can't see how the lack of detail in the driver. Wild, wild. This handling's going to take a wee bit of getting used to. Oh, let's rewind that. Because I'm not letting Kim beat me like that. Of all people. I've done it again. Have some of that, Kim. Is there a handbrake? No, <laughs> I tried to be handbrake skid at the end, but no. Nice. Right, let's see my let's see my hidden section in the garage. Let's see what I've unlocked. Here we go, Max. Time to. Shows what this secret thing is supposedly supposed to be. It better be something exciting, otherwise, all this effort was for naught. Ah, really? I mean, fine, that's nice, but. Most games kind of give you that standard, do they not? Oh, and you can improve them. Alright, so the money goes towards levelling up your... your stations as well, which is quite cool. Can I... beast this... beast this up a wee bit? Whoop. I see! So do I have to like drag a car? Yeah, it's a bit awkward, but and then you can presumably paint the living hell out of it. Oh can you? Is it just installing bits? Do I not get to paint it? 
paint workshop, of course. Of course. Get this motor out of here. Green, 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 green. Ah, magma red. Then yellow. Okay, we get the point. This is that's what it is. So this is gear club. Then um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, once I get used to the handling, this is different from a lot of recent games I've been playing. It's not quite as tight as I'd like. It's quite loose, uh, but that's okay. We'll we'll give it a go. I'll we'll stick with it and see how it evolves. Um, personally, I'm more of a Ridge Racer man, but this, although it looks like Ridge, Race, Ridge Racer's never coming back anytime soon, so this may have to do for now. Uh, but yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Um, I will continue to play it and. Yeah, expect a review on the site at some point in the future. Um, until then, do the usual YouTube stuff. Visit tyrolhack.com for loads of gaming stuff. Um, do the like and subscribe and all that power. Uh, but other than that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop with another video soon. And yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Thanks, bye-bye.